Hi, I'm TNS and welcome to Bandwidth Blog TV. The consumer electronics market changes very, very quickly as we've seen over the last couple of years. From the introduction to the music player, the MP3 player, to later on the, the smartphone and then obviously the tablet that's come in in the last couple of years. The same is actually true for the headset market. It actually has the same trends as we saw with cell phones and then smartphones. It became smaller and smaller and then all of a sudden it just exploded. And the biggest reason for that in the headset market is that um, there's more and more technology being included in the headsets, better sound quality and more functionality. Right here, I've got the Parrot Zeek headset that was designed by Philip Stark. And yes, he's actually just as cool as Tony or Erald Stark because we've always seen that he designed some of the most beautiful things out there and he doesn't just specialize in electronics. So this headset will probably have a pretty niche market because first of all, it is very expensive and also not everybody will like to use all the functionality that it does offer. So let's look at the device. At the top, we've got the Parrot sign, which um, is on this beautiful premium feeling leather and it's quite flexible, so it will always fit nicely onto your head. Also, the metal that is used in the casing for the swivel action of the headset itself has a lovely feel and it's very, very strong. Uh, we've bashed it pretty hard and uh, yeah, you won't be able to break it. Also, the headphones themselves are a very, very nice supple leather. It's, it's one of the best feeling devices we've ever put on our heads, actually. On the left-hand side, you'll find the removable battery under this magnetic cover. Also, on the right-hand side, you'll find the on button because it works uh, with Bluetooth, but we'll get to that. And uh, it's got a micro USB port to charge the battery with. Also, you can use it as a conventional headset. It's got an audio jack as well. On the side of the right-hand headset, we've got a touchpad. Now, this works absolutely brilliantly with any Bluetooth-enabled device, from a TV, a computer, your smartphone and tablet. When listening to music, for example, it has a vertical control, which is basically volume up and down. Also a horizontal one, which is skipping a song forward and then backwards. Also, you can pause the device by hitting the touchpad and unpause again by hitting it. At this stage, the functionality of the touchpad is a bit limited, but we believe that with the advance of more of these enabled devices, it will get better and we can't wait to actually test it when it does. So with regards to the app that it actually uses, it's unfortunately only available on iOS and Android as of yet, but we're sure that's going to change pretty soon. It's got some nice functionalities that you can use in conjunction with the headset. The headset has some beautiful, beautiful sound, so you can imagine something like an equalizer works absolutely brilliantly. It's one of the most nifty features we've ever seen on a device that uses uh, this wireless technology, and you can manually set everything on any sound range, and it works very well. It also has something that they call Parrot Concert Hall. Now, we've seen this work pretty well. Um, we're hoping that it gets better. It's actually a way of changing the way that the sound is delivered in the headsets because it takes into consideration the angle you would be if you're looking at something, a specific kind of movie, or for example, if you are playing a computer game, you'd probably be closer to the screen, therefore it'll be different. So you can set it from concert hall, which works very nice for very, very large music or certain action movies, for example, and then coming back to listening regular music, more pop music, and then obviously, as I said, playing computer games, you come back down the scale all the way to silent room. So overall, we think this is one of the best headsets available today. It's actually the best one I've ever used, not just because of the nice leather, the premium feel, the comfortable feel on your ears, the very, very good sound. Uh, it's also got the very nifty app uh, and it's got some pretty nice settings to play around with. Also, the touchpad works absolutely brilliantly. For these reasons, we would give it a very good 9 out of 10. For our full review, go to bandwidthblog.com.